In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. I think we're here. Son? Sir? <sighs> Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the Temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh... visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. 
All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay, Desmond. Climbing on these objects. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Well, I will have to try the widow Matheson. Well, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Oh, my apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. 
Do you see him? seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. Ah, I'm going to shit you. Ah, I'm going to shit through my teeth. A thousand pardons. Oh, my apologies. Jeremy's really burning up the boards tonight. He's a marvel. With wild herbs and garlic. Should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Please! Oh, 
And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key, and if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that to be held within? It could contain certain knowledge, perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. <laughs> <laughs> 